everyone. This is Darvesh Khan, subject specialist English. Today we are here with a new video for you. Please watch this video, like this video and subscribe this channel. You must know, last time we discussed about grammar. We talked about grammar in details. We also talked about the subcomponents of grammar. We named them, but then we talked about morphology. Grammar is actually called the formation of words and the structure of a sentence. That study is called grammar. Now we say that grammar is actually divided into two subcomponents. One is morphology. Morphology, which I defined in my last lecture about the study of the formation of words. When I say the study of the formation of words is called morphology, for example, here is a word which is actually called, in italic form, it is actually called a lexeme. And this lexeme, in its inflections, we can make some more words. Play, plays, played, played, playing, and the last is also playing. Play. Now, play, plays, played, played, playing, and play. We must know that these are six inflectional forms. These forms are called inflectional forms of this lexeme. These words are called inflectional forms of this lexeme, which is called play. So I define grammar. That the study of the formation of words and the structure of a sentence is called grammar. Then I divided grammar into two subcomponents. The very first one is called morphology, while the second one is called syntax. I define morphology as the study of the formation of words like this. For example, play is actually an exeme, making six words from it. Play, play is played, 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 playing and play, these are six inflectional forms or six inflectional words made from a lexeme, which is play. This formation of words is called morphology. Now syntax, what is syntax? Syntax is actually called the structure of a sentence. What do we mean by the structure of a sentence? We simply know that this is a word which is play. This is another word which is plays, played, played, playing, play. How to use these words into their proper structures? Here, play. I play. He plays. He played. He has played. He is playing. Play cricket. Now the use of all these words properly in their proper structure is called syntax. So the role of syntax is seen here. Then it forms a structure subject plus verb, which is also called subject plus predicate. Subject plus predicate. Subject plus predicate. So each and every tense is defined here. That this is present indefinite. This is present indefinite, he played is past indefinite, he has played is present perfect tense, he is playing is called present continuous tense, and when I say play cricket, this is called the imperative structure. We come to know that the structure of the sentence is seen into dividing this structure into five patterns of complement, as we say subject plus verb, which is called that there is no object subject plus verb which is called intransitive verb. When I say subject plus verb, he plays, so he is subject. How to use a word? How to use a verb with this subject? This, this is identified by the structure of the sentence. So we have discussed about grammar. Grammar is further divided into two subcomponents, morphology and syntax. We talked about morphology as the study of the formation of words. We talked about syntax as the structure of a sentence. 
how a structure of a sentence is drawn, this is shown to us in the subject of syntax, the second component of grammar. Thank you so much. Watch our more videos and hope so you will like more. Thank you.